Well, y'all, this is Tiffany Ryan, and uh, she's a member of this police department, and she works in the records unit, and she's been with us for a long time. And Tiffany's sister is Officer Tina Griswold. And Tiffany is here as uh, speaking for her family, and I have uh, shared with her that this community wants to wrap their arms around her and be a support to her. So Tiffany, why don't you share with us about your sister, okay? My sister is the world to me. We were a year and a month apart. I always told her how proud I was of her and her accomplishments. I'm thankful for our community for being there for my family. After watching the briefing and the funeral services for Officer Britton, never did I ever dream that I would be next to suffer the pain, the loss that that woman suffered with her children. My worst nightmare has come true. I can't tell you how painful it is to lose my sister to me. I can't. I don't know what the days to come will be like without her, to not be able to call her to not be able to tell her when I'm happy and when I'm sad. I used to brag about her. She was one of probably one or two females that made it onto the SWAT team for, I believe it was Lacey. She began as a dispatcher in Shelton, Washington. She dispatched, she trained. She further went on to be a police officer for for the city of Shelton. She continued on with Lacey PD. Then she made her final destination to be at Lakewood for the five years that they were had been in service. My sister was in law enforcement for 14 years and there hasn't been a day that has gone by that I have not thought of how proud I was of her One of the things I want our community to know is that it starts with us. It starts with the community. We have to come together. We have to change the laws because without doing that, law enforcement can only do so much. How many more lives will be taken before we do something? We have to change the laws and it's the people. We can do this, but we, I can't do this by myself. No one can. We have to come together. I want to be the voice for my sister now to keep her, her alive. And I would urge that if anyone has any information on the whereabouts of the suspect or has any knowledge at all, please come forward. Because if you're not telling someone, you're not helping that person. And it could create even more deaths 